guys, to another session of The Hair Wire, the place where people get hair smart. This is your host, Sergio Cardona. And today, like always, our beautiful team, Kerry Jarrett and Bissan Dipsy. How are you guys doing? Hello, doing great. <laughs> Jet lagged. <laughs> I'm good. How <laughs> are <I> doing, Bissan? <laughs> I'm doing well. I'm sorry. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> You're also too very tired today. <laughs> Yeah, she's tired from baby. I know. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, ba baby, ba baby work is 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 it's a heavy. lot. Yes. It's a, yeah. My respects to you, ladies. My Thank respects you. to you because uh, I mean, Carrie, how many kids do you have? You have three, two. I have two. Yeah, you have two. Biz, yeah. you have three, right? Yes, I have three, but I have a uh, a ten month old baby right now. Yeah, so. Exactly. So the, the 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 little one, yeah, it's taking it, yeah a toll on. I'm sleep deprived the body. and uh, food deprived and sunshine deprived. <laughs> <laughs> and how about and you, Sergio? In between, no kids, no kids so far. So no. I, I, I'm 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 free in, in that area <laughs> <laughs> for now. <laughs> But uh, my again, again, I respect you, get ladies. You know, uh, working with children is is a full time job, and you guys are scientists. You guys are working mothers, and you are entrepreneurs. You, you're doing everything. So again, my hat off to you, ladies, and to everyone, any other lady here who's watching, who is uh, you know a, 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 an engine moving forward against the world and everything in between, being a mother, being a, 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 a a wife being everything, you know, uh, sister, mother, everything. <laughs> yep. We do it all. <laughs> That's true. That's true. You know, I have here, uh, I'm, uh, my home is my uncle is staying and uh, he's 70. He recently got married a couple of years back, uh, younger women. And, you know, he, he was always saying, you know, how his wife is his uh, um, external memory. Uh <laughs> Her, her, her conscience he, he's always like my wife is my conscience and like yeah oh, women that's... you guys are everything that and more to us so again my applause to you <laughs> thank you <laughs> but today we're gonna be talking about hair guys today we're gonna be talking about hair and we want to start with Carrie Jared Carrie you recently were on a trip to Nashville where uh you got uh, a, a new title Uh, to show off <laughs> to the world. <laughs> yes, yes, I did. You're and working with the company, uh, and they are working uh, with uh, systems uh, for uh, our scalp and hair uh, extensions and many other things. And they're moving to the to a direct new direction. Uh, you mentioned uh, into the hair loss uh, industry. So please walk us through this process and the new stuff that you just show us, which is amazing. Yeah. So for those of you, um, I am a cosmetologist. I've been in the salon industry most of my life um, and I've been licensed since the early 2000s and doing hair extensions. Um, and I just recently got invited on to be a regional educator for Babe Hair Extensions. It's a hair extension company spe specifically for hair salons that source, eth source out ethical hair. Um, they have guarantees. It's I really like the company and I'm not one to stand behind a company that often unless there's some really good features behind it and babe was one of those and so they asked me to be a trainer and brought me out to nashville and i did the train the trainer program to learn their methods and you know i never thought you could teach a new dog an old dog new tricks and <laughs> i learned some really cool things and the direction that they're going and i'm being recognized as a hair extension expert who specializes in hair solutions for hair loss which is quite neat and i know they're going to be working on programs for hair loss solutions and be really working on educating babe experts in hair loss recognition and understanding when and where to do hair extensions and when and when you can't And hair extensions are not regulated, so anybody could do them. You could go out and you could do extensions. And it's quite dangerous because if they're put in incorrectly, you could cause permanent hair loss, you could cause um, traction alopecia, you could cause, like, you could trigger so many things. And especially if you're not um, educated in the topic, you could stunt hair growth. You could yes. discourage hair growth. Like, there's so many concerns you have to be careful. And so they want to be the leader in understanding when and where and to protect people, their hair, their integrity, and just come up with better options. Now, one thing which I really loved, um, 
as a trichologist and a cosmetologist, I'm not a big fan of toppers. The reason being is with toppers, they're more for if you have a permanent hair loss solution. So those who are candidates for, say, um, surgical implants or who have no other option and the, per the hair loss is permanent. And with that being said, if you do use a topper, when you still have you the ability to potentially grow your hair back, and especially if you see a trichologist, there are solutions for you to stimulate the hair growth, you're still going to be using toppers and it's going to work against you for growing that hair back. And so they're coming up with new methods. And yes, there's op options like using halos and stuff, but you still don't get the hair on the top without if you don't use the topper. But now they're coming up with solutions where they're doing micro micro fusions. Oh, my God. Yeah, tiny. Just like doing eyelash extensions, you're putting a few hairs on a couple strands of hair. And I've, I've got to show this picture because it was amazing. But this woman, this is not a topper, you guys. This is not a topper. These are wow. micro fusion hair yeah. I would say that's a topper if I just look at it and you didn't tell us. Please, yeah. please show it again. Show it again because uh, I changed the view here. Okay. Oh, to our viewers, see. that is not a topper. Please oh. understand how amazing is that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah That's so amazing. there's amazing solutions so that way you could still do hair extensions and still have the option to do the treatments your integrity of the hair is not being compromised it's removed quite safely and as a cosmetologist and a trichologist I'm always cautious about the integrity of the hair in the end and it's so gentle like so gentle on the hair and especially if it's done correctly. So there's a lot of new techniques coming out there. And so I'm excited to be a part of this because we're taking hair extensions, not just for giving you length and, you know, um, I use it cause I offer hair growth programs for people who have broken, brittle hair. And I coach people on getting their hair long again and eating for their hair. Um, but now I have a solution for people with, you know, thinning on the top men, men do like, I'm, I'm just, yeah. I'm excited about the direction it's going. And I know they're going to be working on hair loss programs as well for hair extensions for stylists specifically. I, I, I like I like what you the things that you have been mentioning, uh, um, Carrie, because one of the concerns for, for many of us in the trichology industry is exactly, you know, the things that you mentioned, you know, since it is a area that is open to just about anyone. Uh, unfortunately, there's big room for errors, a big room for damage. And people don't realize because it is open, because it's not regulated, does not mean that it's completely safe. And that's something that uh, customers, people, if you're watching, please understand, because something is available to you does not mean that it's safe. Please understand. Please <laughs> understand, because I have to say the same thing happens with microneedling. You can buy a derma roller, even the, the medical grade derma rollers online without any uh, any uh, filter to stop you to from buying those big needles and people are using it at home. Yeah. That's crazy. That's crazy. And, you know, you, you can do a lot of damage because, I mean, you're able to buy it online, but that doesn't mean that it's safe. What's yeah. your take on this, Bissan? Yeah, actually, um, it's interesting that the era we are right now, that it, like everything is online. Anybody can purchase anything and anybody can do anything at home. And also even courses, like some people will just buy, not not even buy a course or read an article somewhere and they, know, they think that they know how to do certain things. Uh, it's great, the amount of information around us, but now, as adults now, we have a responsibility to filter, uh, to filter things, and uh, it, it's like it's nice that I read statistics one time that uh, eighty percent of people are good; they have good intentions, but actually twenty percent of people have bad intentions. Like people like are after money or after yeah. like harming. I don't know. So I mean, we're lucky enough that eighty percent of us are good, <laughs> but um, if uh, if God forbid we we end up with a, one of the other 20% of these people, then uh, especially if we're dealing with hair, uh, hair damage is yeah. really, really hard to reverse. Yes. Um, like, like remember, Kerry, you told me about this lady who um, uh, they burned their scalp, the, sorry, her scalp, because she did the Brazilian uh, 
um, uh, treatment and they left her home. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe her cosmetologist or her dresser, she is uh, even not educated enough or educated with from the wrong hands or who knows, or something. I, I even know about home. cases of people who actually died at home using the Brazilian treatment thing. Uh, yeah, because of the fumes. Uh, uh, they, oh, they were doing yeah. it on an enclosed space when they should be do it should be done in an open yeah. space area, and the yeah. fumes uh, were so intense that people actually died. Yeah. So oh, uh, yeah. you know, again, I've, I'm I'm telling you guys because it is available to you is not always safe. So whatever you buy online to you know enhance the way you look. Uh, whether it's coloring, whether it's straightening, uh, whether it's systems, whether it are uh, extensions, uh, microneedling, uh, shampoos. <laughs> yeah, and, and sometimes we go cheap, right? We say, yeah. look, I'm going to cut the, the cost and do it myself, but the results will <laughs> yeah, I mean, be... I mean, I mean for uh, what, what money's worth, um, I say, you know, It is worth a try. If you want to try yourself, it's okay. You want to, uh, uh, you know, save some money. Good. But at least do it the safe way. At least get, you know, enough education first before you buy. Enough education after you buy, you know, so you will follow it up so correctly. And you will do it at least with the least amount of damage possible yeah. if you're doing something at home. I mean, because so many things out there is crazy. And, and uh, uh, I, <laughs> yeah, go ahead, Vince. They can, they can ask too. Like, you know, trichologists are, tri like all of us, trichologists are educated people. Like we know what we're talking about. So um, if you guys are listening to the hair wire, shoot us a, a question, ask, ask, and we are happy to give it for you here. Yes. We discuss it. We can lead you towards like a tr safe treatment at home um even if you don't want to ask us just call a trichologist around you and ask and most trichologists um offer virtual consultations too yeah yeah, yeah and, and keep in mind a lot of trichologists too there's trichologists with extra backgrounds as well um one may specialize as a dermatologist trichologist mm -hmm. some specialize as a cosmetologist trichologist or we also have nutritional dietitian trichologist so mm -hmm. you know if there's something you're specifically looking for too you know the dig deep go go find that so yeah and uh, everything is available online and sometimes uh there's a saying in arabic i don't know how to say it in english but give every person uh their job in a way like give that the wood for the carpenter yeah. uh, give the hair to trichologists and cosmetologists <laughs> uh, anyway like i know sometimes when i cut corners and And but the, the side effect sometimes is even worse than just us, the professionals. To you do mentioned it. something very important in there, Biz, you know, about professionals who cut corners. And that's when we see a lot of the damage when people are using hair extensions. Now, mm -hmm. Carrie, you, you have done many, many of these uh, treatments. Uh, you have placed many of these systems in your salon and you are teaching this to other cosmetologists around the world now uh what are some of the main things that people come and ask you about in terms of you know what they are doing wrong at behind the chair and that you know that you're correcting when, when you're teaching back to them what are some of the main features that you will see um a lot of the main one like from a stylist like somebody yeah. who's offering them yeah. um cutting corners or saving a buck and it, you know and you know I've been guilty of it too trying to find a bright product and it is a hair is a bioproduct right and you can't guarantee the hair and it, I find too people don't want to spend the money on hair and it's it's the stylist who has to educate the importance and why hair costs the way it costs and sometimes they're like okay well you don't want to spend that seven to twelve hundred dollars on hair we'll go for the cheaper option and then they wonder why their hair looks like 
yuck after. <laughs> but the thing is, is if you're having good quality hair and you're taking care of it, you could stretch it out. And so by the time, like if you're paying that six to $1,200 for hair and they're taking care of it and you're educating them on product knowledge, using the serum stuff, they could stretch that hair out. Like I have one client using the same extension. She just uses it for volume. She's had the same set for the last two years. And we did, we spent a couple, almost like under a grand for that hair, but um, it, before we were getting the cheaper hair and we we're replacing it every second time. And so by the mm -hmm. time you add it up, it costs, right? So if you yeah. have good quality, you're educating them how to take care of it and you know where the hair is coming from, how it's been treated. Like the difference with this hair extension company, they take 30 to 40 days to process a color. So they're not blowing and blasting out that cuticle. So the cuticle isn't compromised when it goes into other hair. Nice. A lot of companies will buy hair and they'll blast it with chemical, do the color yeah. change in a short period of time. And call it natural. It. They sell it to you as natural, which is yeah. a big lie. <laughs> <laughs> big lie. And so you have a compromised cuticle. And yes, it looks great when you feel and pick it up, but it's being camouflaged by silicones and waxes. And by the time those silicones and waxes are washed off, then the cuticle is going to stick out, it's going to go caramelize, it mixes with your own cuticle. I call it kind of like um, Velcro, when Velcro gets stuck together. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's why it causes the matting and stuff. So it's really knowing where your hair is from. And so as a stylist, if you find that you're, the biggest common thing is the hair, hair education and lack of knowledge and educating that client on how to take care of them, giving them the right method. Like you, there's not a one size fits all method for extensions. Mm -hmm. I have about, seven to eight different methods or mixed methods that I use per client based on their needs, their hair, their goals, all of that. Um, and as well too, like I see commonly with people who do extensions and they'll put them right up to the scalp, right to the root. Well, your the client should not have a headache from extensions whatsoever. Amen. Amen. Finally, finally, <laughs> someone said it. Amen. <laughs> yeah. If they're getting a headache, they're applied incorrectly, or they have too much hair to bounce out their own hair. Don't you like his enthusiasm? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's incredible. Guys, I, I know you, you, you're watching this, but, you know, in the industry, unfortunately, we will see um, many stylists with maybe the good intention uh, to to add up volume to your hair and to put on extensions to you. But there are also some shady characters out there that will sell you just about anything for a buck. But again, uh, if you're selling anything, at least put it the right way. At least, at least. I mean, if you're selling anything, at least you should do it properly. And the thing is, you know, we're talking here with Carrie and Carrie, she's the expert who teaches the experts how to do this and, and, and teach them to their clients. So, you know, you're, you're talking here to a source, to a source person right now. And because of it, guys, we, we have an extra advantage here today. So thank you, Carrie. <laughs> thank you. I have a question for Go ahead. Yes, yeah, so like what you're talking about these extensions, um, can you, uh, you know, like how sometimes you have a treatment plan as a trichologist for your client, can you still do the treatment plan and apply these extensions? Absolutely. Yes, absolutely. Um, if I have a client coming in for extensions with a goal in mind, so when I do my consultations, I ask why they're getting the extensions. Mm -hmm. That's a big one. Are they doing it for length or volume? Are they their goal to grow their hair out? Is it like, there's a lot of reasons you could be putting in for volume, length, hair color. Myself, I don't like to color my hair, but I do like the vivids once in a while. I'll use extensions. So there is a time and place for them. Now, if they are coming in for the goal to grow their hair back to healthy or grow their color out, then I'm going to have a system and a program with them. And I do have a, a tailored program it's a subscription essentially, and they'll come in, I'll do the epigenetics test, check out their food, help them eat for their hair based on for them and work on their goals. And I break it out into a, into a subscription mainly because, um, yes, normally when you get extensions, you want them to go longer in between. But if you're trying to grow your hair out, my goal is to make your hair grow faster and stronger. So, of course, you're going to be coming in more often. So I make it into a subscription to balance it out. So there, it's not as expensive. That makes sense? Yes. 
Yeah. yeah. And so, and when they're like, well, I have to get my extensions done, yada, yada, yada. Well, I'm helping you grow your hair. Our goal, like, you know, as the trichologist, we stop the hair growth, we're winning. Well, as a hair extension growth expert, if the hair is growing, we're winning. Yeah. Exactly. And so I use that same, same analogy. And you, and you use the extensions while you're doing your treatment plan. So they grow her hair, but their hair back with the extension covering it up basically right is that exactly right? we camouflage it out mm -hmm. um, and also too as a hair extension specialist i never bump up extensions if you have a hair stylist and please you guys if you're getting extensions and the stylist just opens up the bead and bumps it up go find a new stylist what's a bump it up explain they will, if they have microlinks or a bead they'll put the bead on and instead of taking it out Ooh. washing the hair or taking it out and then putting on a new spot, they'll open it up and put it on the same spot. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. yeah. As a trichologist, it makes me quiver. <laughs> like, ugh. Um, that is I'm incorrect. There's a way to take it out rather than... Like, yeah, like there's like a, a pinch. We have pinchers. Exactly. If depending on the type that we have, usually if they're bumping it up, it's a microlink, and they'll okay. take the microlink and they'll open up with these pliers, so it literally makes the bead round again. Oh, okay. And they'll grab the natural hair and move the bead back up the hair without taking it out, and repinch it. So the spot that the, the hair thing, extension yeah, is they, they, they on, have to open it, remove it, and replace it, or not, put it on not, a new spot. Yeah, exactly. Put it in a new spot, not put in exactly. the exact same. Because that, that hair strand is already tired. You need to exactly. keep it and... Exactly. And then they wonder Another, why they're hair... Amen. Amen to that. <laughs> Please. Wow. And every time I take out my extensions too, um, I do cut it. I don't cut it every single time, but I'll do... I remember how I do the hair um, in a show a few, few weeks ago. We talked about how I will take oh, the yeah. hair and cut the split ends. Yeah. The hair correction. Yeah, I'll go that. in and I'll do that. Just make sure there's no split ends because if you keep letting those split ends in there, they're going to keep traveling up the hair shaft, causing more of a mess. So I make sure when I take them out, I'm I'm measuring the hair, making sure that if there's any split ends, I'm getting nipping them in the butt. So, and you guys, yeah, I and it, it, I haven't. I'm actually working on creating a program, a workshop, which we'll have on the hair wire, educating about hair extensions, proper application, how to cut them, techniques, how to have hair growth programs. So don't worry, that is in the works on top of what I'll be teaching with um, babe hair extensions, but I'll be teaching my own program through the hair wire. So stay tuned out. We'll, maybe we'll put a, a wait list for that, but we will be working on that. And I'll show you my hair cutting techniques. I'll show you my application techniques, but you do have to be a licensed hairdresser to take that program. And you will have to send me your license or your credentials for me to give you access to that program. So, so professionals, perfect. if you're watching, perfect. please start writing, start writing to Carrie, start writing here to the hair wire info at the hairwire.com that's our email so you can start writing and we can get the information back to you now carrie i have to say um personally i, I had a uh how we say an agenda against <laughs> hair extensions and such and th the reason for it is i mean so many people are doing it so wrong i mean every time i see new kids coming out of cosmetology school and they are doing horrible things horrible. I, I know they're learning i know it's a learning curve for, for many people and i understand that but people are paying for your service not to not to use you as a learning curve and that's something that i'm always against i mean you do not try a new technique on a paying customer you try a new technique on your friends and your family and once you master a technique Then you can start charging for it. But yeah. people, they go to a seminar for one day, two days, and, you know, all of a sudden, because they're certified, they they want to charge for a technique that they have not fully understand, that they have not yeah. been fully trained on it. I mean, if, if you have one day, two days demonstration. Does that qualify you to do, uh, to do the work? No, that means go home, start practicing. And if you have questions, go back to your instructors and then... Once you have mastered the technique, you can start charging by it. But if, if I'm teaching a course about something about hair, I will tell them do 50 cases, successful yes. 50 cases before you get you 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 charge people for that. <laughs> well, it one should, thing too, it should be it should be like that, Biz. It should be like really? that. Like, But really, unfortunately, the, the, the industry doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. Pe people learn technique right? today and they want to start charging tomorrow, I know. and, and that memory. is wrong. 
Let's go. The yeah. same thing happens in the uh, in, in the um, hair transplant industry. Yeah, same exactly. thing That's is happening. Yeah, it's a, mu not a memory, YouTube. muscle memory. I don't know what it's called. It's a muscle memory. You need to... Okay. I need to calm down. I need to calm down. <laughs> <laughs> but, and, you know, it happens too in trichology. Look, we went to school for yeah. how many years for trichology? And you see two-day programs and all of a sudden there are certified trichologists after two days. It's like, okay. you know... So it, it's way, way vast more than two days. Like you cannot cover anything in two days. Psychology right. is the, the base of all sciences, really, because it's biology, it's physiology, it's anatomy, it is, it is nutrition, it is stress management, it's all of this. It's a whole meal. That's what it is. Exactly. Trichology is a full meal. And if you're not ready for that, I mean, you, you got to step it up, step, step back a little, you know, train yourself, work with, you know, with family, friends. And then then when you're ready, then you can start charging for your services on, on anything, on anything in life. I mean, yeah. you know, pe pe people are so are uh, so eager to make money and, and they forgot that they need to master their their skills first. Okay, if you people, master, you heard Sergio. You, you heard Sergio. Don't make him mad again. But you yes, know what? Yes. I have to say I'm guilty of my my thing. <laughs> and I get in trouble from other stylists and I am working out. My prices are going up. I they are, but hey. I'm guilty of not charging my caliber. Oh, that's and, and big one. So I actually I just had somebody tell me they didn't want to come see me because I was too cheap. <laughs> I was like, I wish my customer said something like that. Have you not seen my resume? <laughs> but, but you know, charge what you're worth too. Yes. Like, so those styles too that have, who are trichologists, because I know there are certified trichologists that listen and follow us and who are licensed cosmetologists, charge what you're worth. I, and if, for example, like I was in the room with a lot of other trichologists or sorry, hair extension specialists and regional trainers. Yes. But I should still be charging more than them. Yeah, you're a trichologist too. Yeah. Exactly. So now that I'm reassessing everything, I'm looking, I'm like, okay, I'm bumping on my prices. You get what you pay for. You're coming to me. It's hair extensions, yes, are a luxury service, but they're also uh, an op a hair solution option. So if you're a trichologist, cosmetologist, charge that. Yeah. Don't charge what the neighborhood hair extension salon's doing. You are a trichologist. You're bringing it to the next level and more services that you could offer to your client charge and and your client your the your work is going to speak to itself yeah. for itself so customers, like when you have a you guys you guys are watching you, you as a customer guys you you're watching uh you realize this you know uh you pay extra for quality that's what mm -hmm. it is mm -hmm. and of course if you want the best i mean it's going to cost you a penny so um we're not taking talking here about overcharging or everything no uh we have people who are extremely qualified qualified i will say and they are charging nickels uh for their job and because of that unfortunately we have people who are you know they're not qualified and they, yet they dare themselves to charge ridiculous amount of money uh for for a job that you know someone who is more qualified but doesn't not does not want to charge you as much you know world is yeah, crazy I, I make, make sure you you find out about yeah. your hair specialist uh the person who's touching your hair make sure you find out as much information as you can and, and then I think they should interview us too true go yeah. here to the way hair wire <laughs> <laughs> and you know what and you know there are the clients that can't that want these services and can afford i do offer programs and i call them like scholarship programs or payment plans for clients who can't afford certain stuff too like there are options for people Amen. right yeah and like so, okay like you can you can sit with your client at the beginning and then you interview the client to see what they want and they interview you to see if you guys are fit together Oh yeah, all consultation all the time. Um, we actually, I'm working at updating my consultation forms, not just as a trichologist, but for hair extensions, where I'm going to be asking questions, where it's going to be a 30 minute consultation process, because there are people who are not candidates for hair extensions. Right. Like if you know, please elaborate on people who are not candidates. 
people you're watching, you want to hear this, please. Who is not a candidate? Who is not a candidate? Please. <laughs> Yeah, with hair extensions, there's a lot. Um, first off, you want to find out what their lifestyle is like. And if they're looking for a specific method, and it doesn't align with the method of hair extension that they want, you might want to say, hey, no, this is going to compromise your hair more. You might not be a candidate for this method. Let's use this method. Um, it could be their hair is so chemically compromised, and so much cuticle damage, they need to get their hair fixed and corrected before the extensions because it's going to cause more matting and tangling. For example, um, your beautiful bleach blonde, ombre blonde hair, <laughs> that the hair, like I, I've seen people go bleach their own hair at home, come in to get the extensions, but the hair hasn't been bleached correctly. It hasn't been toned. It hasn't been treated, nothing. And the cuticle is just blasted and it's there's it's stretchy and stringy and then you're putting hair extensions especially poor quality extensions that haven't been treated properly who already have poor cuticle damage already and you're putting those two together you're just making a recipe for ugh, just a gross mess um those are not a candidate somebody who's going through hair loss a temporary one whether it be um postpartum hair loss or say if they're suffering from telogen effluvium or any type of hair shedding you want to be careful with because if you're putting in hair on top of hair that's shedding it's gonna so like if I see the base of the hair has a good centimeter by centimeter diameter but they're having telogen effluvium that hair eventually sheds now it's sitting on three to five hairs versus ten well mm. I could cause traction alopecia so I might not want to put it on there either um finally, finally <laughs> someone said it <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we want to make sure we're putting on hair that is good. I also see a lot of clients that are the, the cereal dieters or people who've done like keto or any of those diets. Um, I want to be careful with that too, because there are diets that compromise the hair and make it more brittle. So if their hair... Like please, maybe, let, let me interrupt you. Let's include people who are going to gastric bypass or the balloon or they're going to the, you know, doing doing the 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 what was the name of the procedure? I forgot the name of the procedure. But they, they they cut your stomach in half, basically. Uh, your, 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 yeah, I don't know. To the reduce either, the but... stomach size, uh, so yeah. you know, I forgot the name of the procedure. Please forgive me. But the, the thing <laughs> is, you know, people uh, because of it, because of the nutritional deficiency, we will start seeing hair shedding, and people I see many of them that you know because they're preparing for the hair shedding that they're going to see they want to put hair extensions before yeah no you want to wait after and especially during the diet like if they are going through that diet that hair or do medicine change that hair where the hair is actually being adhered to might also be brittle and be too heavy and break the hair so not just shed but it actually might be brittle enough to break the hair and shed so you want to make sure you're cautious of the, the integrity of the hair itself and the follicle. So I feel like like the hair extensions should be done by a licensed tri a cosmetologist and a certified trichologist at the same time. <laughs> it has to be someone with enough knowledge. Uh, for, for, from, what I, from what I'm seeing, I mean, there's so many details that, that, that you're sharing right now, Carrie, that uh, I, I've been to many seminars And no one, no one says not even a fifth or an eighth of what you just said, you know, <laughs> <laughs> and it's incredible. And I, and I feel that, you know, the industry is losing a great deal because of, you know, lack of education or poor education. If I say poor education is best describes, uh, you know, what's happening because, you know, they're, they're teaching other hairstylists how to do the job but they're not teaching them how to properly do the job you know or at least yeah. you know which customers are the right customer for this no they will say every cost anyone is a good candidate that's not that that's no. not good <laughs> no, but Michael, like, I don't think you need to be really a, a trichologist. It would be a bonus if you could be, but I, having the yeah. formal education of understanding the types of hair loss. And so that's what I would like to do is really tie in trichology and cosmetology and educate the stylist and take them to the next level and be that stylist that 
you know, we're talking about competition and stuff. Let's take us to the next level of quality. So, yeah. Anyways, I could go on about this. You guys, if you do want a program like this or you want to sign up for it, well, email us at info at the hairwire.com. We'll say waitlist hair extensions. And then that way, when we do have the program ready, um, we could offer that. And if there's any other programs that come up that you would like to learn more about, especially um, hair extension installations, so forth, by all means, email me. I'll send you the links and the contacts. Or um, if you want to do private with me, I do offer prof private as well. Um, reach out at the at info at the hairwire.com or you could also find me at carrie at the haircoach.ca and i can give you tons of information from there so no, can i, I say something carrie please please yeah please. your hair looks super cute oh thank you <laughs> <laughs> now I, I wanted to add something before we go um i know that you know the same principles will apply but the technique may change with uh afro hair with black hair um, Absolutely, and, and of course, uh, we have many of our friends in in, in the industry. Uh, many uh, African American, uh, you know, th they're very interested in you know to find out about these techniques because we see a, a lot of uh, weaving and, and, and textures, and you know, and of course, we want to help you out, guys. We want to we want to reach out to you and you know correct you know the things that are are being done incorrectly, and we understand you know the the different needs for different textures of hair. And, and I, absolutely, I, I'm gonna add into that too. I have quite a few friends that do um, weaving and hair extensions on natural kinky hair and they have strict rules. They say it's people with hair like my type and their hair type, they have different needs. Yes. There's certain things like, you know, doing box braids incorrectly on hair like mine or doing box braids on somebody like they said. And I, you know, I will be bringing a couple of my friends into my program too. To, and maybe we will talk about that when and what and who and how per client based on the hair texture, because that is, and we all have different needs. And I, I do more hair on um, fine to medium hair hair extensions for natural hair extension applications i do have some great contacts we could bring on maybe i'll ask a couple and maybe we could do an entry yes. with them and we just do uh q a with hair extensions on um fine to medium hair and kinky hair and see where it goes yes okay. we, we need we need to bring that up uh, uh to our, our friends uh, uh and and you know uh that you're dealing with black hair it... <laughs> We got you. We got you. We're hearing you. We hear you. We hear you. Okay. We, we, we got you covered. We got you covered. And we're going to be able to, you know, build this uh, for every type of hair, because again, different types of hair, different types of needs. And of course we need to cover them all. So uh, guys, great show today. Um, before we go, please visit also our TikTok, uh, where Bissam videos are going crazy. <laughs> <laughs> I am so happy. <laughs> it is. It's, it's going Let's crazy. Our, our videos it's are going crazy. Thousand. Yeah. Let's, share it's, share, it's our, it's share our content, guys. Share our content. Uh, we have we we are on everywhere. We're everywhere. We are on Facebook. Mm -hmm. We're on Nine Instagram. Eighty nine views so far. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not to brag not to brag <laughs> yeah we're having fun with tiktok it's been fun it's we've great, been nervous at first <laughs> i know i need 11 11 views more please go view that video and all our videos and talk tiktok and then don't forget to subscribe to the hair wire yeah, please help us subscribe here at uh, the hair wire here at YouTube. Uh, once we reach a thousand uh, subscribers, we, we will be able to start launching live content to you guys. And we want to bring out our, our live content and, and bring our weekly show live to you. It will be uh, more enthusiasm and more freeness. <laughs> More freeness from us, you know. We, we're free to say everything that we like, but, but you know, when when it is live, is different, and we like to interact with our audience. So please give us that chance by subscribing to our channel. And once we get a thousand subscribers, whoo, we're gonna have an amazing time with you guys. So yeah. please subscribe, uh, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, like the video, share our content, and please comment on all of our videos if you have questions please reach out to us. We are always uh, writing to our, to anyone uh, who writes back to us and, and we're reaching out to you and, you know, helping people out. And this is what we do. This is the call of the hair wire to get you 
hair smart. Anything you want to you guys want to add before we go? I want to just tell everybody, please um, tell us what you would like to to hear about, uh, from us next episode. Just yes. write in the comments any question. Uh, we're waiting for your case studies too. So if you have a hair um, loss problem that you're trying to figure it out, we can help you right there here on the hair wire. Just go and subscribe. <laughs> See you guys next time. Thank you, Carrie. Thank you, Bazan. Thank you. Till next Bye. time. Bye-bye.